Hello everyone, welcome to Research Hub. In this lecture, I am going to show you how to do second order PLSM modeling. So here we have a setup where we actually tested a formative measurement model. So we converted the uh, environmental performance to a formative model. But for now, I'm again going to turn it back as to what it was before. Okay. So I'm just going to right click and I'll switch here to reflective construct. Then I should maybe also change the color back to red. Okay. So that it's same with the previous ones. And then I'm also going to put back the EP1 and 2 uh, variables here in the reflective modeling, which we dropped previously when we converted converted the environmental performance into a formative model, formative construct, okay? So now we are going to do a second order model. So what does that mean? So if you look here, actually, the bus tangible, bus driver's quality, and empathy, these three latent variables, they refer to service quality, okay? So instead of looking into the effect of these three separately on the customer satisfaction, we can make a latent variable called service quality out of these three construct and see the effect of service quality on customer satisfaction. And that's what we are going to do here now. Okay. So first to do that, I'm going to remove these connections from here. Okay. And remove the connections from here. And then I'm going to create a new latent variable, which I'm going to call service quality. Okay. Or we can call it bus service quality. That was the main theme of the paper anyway. So we click OK. Right. So now here we are going to make this one a second order latent variable. Now one of the question is that should this variable be a formative or reflective? Okay. So are we expecting high correlation among these three variables? If so, then it should be a reflective if they theoretically make sense. And if not, if we don't really expect high correlation among themselves, then it should not be reflective. It should be formative, right? So for simplicity, I'm going to actually show you first the reflective model and then later I will also show you the formative model of this one. Okay. So for a reflective model, I should have a connection from the latent variable to the uh, first order latent variable, then from the latent variable to the first order and from the latent to the first order. Right. Great. This is our setup here. Right. So now what we can do is we have to find a way to give items to our second order construct. And you see it is red. That means actually it is not formatted properly yet. So that's why it is coming as a red one. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to load all the items of our first order latent variables to our second order latent variable. And this approach is called repeated measurement items. Okay. So if we go up, so first we have the BD1, BD2, then we have four, five, six, and seven, and we are going to drag them here, right? You see it turns blue, so now it, it is functional, okay? And then we have BD1 to BD4, and I'm going to drop them here. And then we have EMP1 to EMP5, I'm going to drop them here. So now we are loading all the items of our first order constructs in our second order construct, right? And now it's not looking really nice. So what we can do, we can simply hide it. Okay, hide indicators of the construct. So we hide it. And it's nice to have a different color for this one. Sometimes you can also make it big a little bit. So we know that this is a second order construct, okay? And uh, here, if I right click, uh, if, if I just go here on, our, on my palette, I can actually change also the color of this one. So let's say if I make this one uh, blue or something like that. Okay. And I make the border white. Okay. And also I make the border size a bit bolder. Okay. So now we are actually done with setting up our model. And now I'm just going to click calculate 
and here you should again go with the measurement model and then you should come to PLSM so if 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 PLSM estimation so if I go to the measurement model I go with the PLS uh, algorithm here make sure it's factor okay and that's it you will start the calculation and you will have the results again you have to go through these factor loadings right for factor loadings you come here out of loadings here you can see all the factor loadings okay yeah the first order all of them looks great for the second order uh, some of them are not really very high for example here uh, EMP 3 is not very high so if we want we can actually drop it if then actually we should drop this EMP 3 uh, from the whole model but now when I when I look into it actually you know it's really great when I look into it I see that this one is loading pretty well in the bus service quality on my second order item but then these are not loading very well and these are not loading very well so that gives me an indication that actually I should model this as a formative construct instead of a reflective construct okay so the first order models they fit very well as a reflective model as we see all the factor loadings are higher than 0 0.708 but here in the second order we see some of the items of other constructs like BT bus, tra uh, bus uh, tangible and the bus service providers empathy these are not loading very well on our second order construct so that gives me the idea that actually we should go for a formatting modeling formative modeling of the second order model okay but otherwise for the assessment of the reflective uh, model you would look into here on the factor loadings then you will go here on the construct reliability and validity and check for discriminant validity but now actually as we see that it is not really doing well as a reflective construct we are going to remove the connections here and we are going to model it as a formative one and to do that we simply have to connect the other way so from now from the latent first order latent to the second order from the first order latent to the second order from here to here right nice that's all it's done I'm going to see if my indicators are still there. Yeah, of all the indicators that I put here before are still there, so I don't have to really do any change now. And I'm just going to hide the indicators of the second order model, second order latent construct, okay? So now that's it actually. And now I'm going to run uh, the PLS algorithm first. I'll check the factor quickly, okay? Uh, you know what should be done for assessment of measurement model right for reflective and formative i have shown them in previous videos already so here first you are going to check the factor loadings here uh, of the first order models which looks good for the second order it doesn't look good but it doesn't matter now because now we have for formatted the second order model as a formative construct and for the assessment of formative construct we mainly look into the vif and we look into the p values right so if i click here for vif and if I go down here looks good for the first order variables and for the second order variables if I look here uh, it looks good where is our bus service quality here bus service quality so it looks good yeah no no issues here okay so now we can actually proceed with the main path modeling and for that to see the significance levels we are going to run the bootstrapping here again recommended is 3000 or 5000 but i'm using 1000 for for the sake of time and simplicity and here we're going with one tailed and here we are going to select path model that's it actually uh we have two groups but we are not doing anything with the data groups for now that we have discussed in a uh, multi-group modeling video right so now I start calculation and here we go to report and here we see our results we see that all of them are actually all the parts are statistically significant so that's really great and here we already see that the bus driver's quality is significant on the 
bus service quality, bus tangible is also significant there. Um, empathy is also significant there. So these significant values, this actually tells us that uh, it fits well as a formative construct, okay? So we first saw that the VIF is not a problem for bus service quality, the second order model. And then we are also seeing that the p-values are significant from the first order latent construct to the second order construct. So that means that they are good fit. They, they are good good model. Uh, yeah, the second order construct is a good construct, okay? So that's mainly it. And then if you want to see the indirect effects, you want to see the total effects, you can move to those, okay? If you want to see uh, the outer weights, you can see them here. For all the uh, for all the first order latent variables, you will see them here, right? And all of them are significant here as well, so it looks good. Yeah. So thank you for watching uh, this lecture, and I hope you find it useful. So now you know how you can run a second order model in your smart PLS software. Thank you.